Hi! Today's video is about making peripheral blood smears. This is the one skill that you should probably really have if you want to pursue a career in hematology. So it's intimidating at first, but practice makes perfect. Although nothing is perfect. But what I'm saying is, if you regularly do it, it'll come easier every time. So the first method is the classic method of doing peripheral blood smears. And the second and the third method are methods that help people with shaky hands. And that's my problem too. I really have shaky hands, especially if it's my first time doing things. I get anxiety and I'm like shaky. So the, the first one is a classic one. And the second and the third one will definitely help people with shaky hands. So here goes the first method. Okay, so first and foremost, I want to show you how I hold the glass slides. So let's just say these are glass slides. These are just, you know, plastic pieces that I cut up so that I can show you better. I supersized it for the sake of teaching. So this is going to be where your drop is going to be. And this slide is your spreader slide. So you're going to hold it like this. So thumb up and two fingers down. That's your spreader slide. Okay? I don't know if you can see it. That's how I hold my spreader slide. It's a much stable way of holding it. Some people hold it this way. That's another way too. You can spread it that way. Or some people do it with just two fingers. I don't know. I don't know if you can do it. But for me, the most stable way of holding the spreader slide using the classic way of making peripheral blood smears is two fingers down and one finger up. Sort of thumb up and that's it. So you put your drop here, you put your drop of blood here, you go all the way up, make sure the blood spreads all the way to each side of the slide and then slowly drag it down. Making sure that this is touching the glass slide all the way. Like they're flush together all the way. And another mistake that people actually do is they go too fast. And when you go too fast, the blood doesn't spread as evenly and as nice as it should. It becomes jaggedy and it's not gonna look nice. So the slower you go, the better the blood spreads. Second method. So now I'm gonna show you how I hold the slide on for the second method before I let you see how I do it in the lab. <clears throat> so the slide, where you put your smear on is going to be held vertical to you. So it's going to be standing up like that and you're going to hold two fingers on the north side, upside of the slide and then your thumb on the bottom to support it. And then the other slide is going to be perpendicular this time. This is going to be your spreader slide and it's going to be perpendicular. So you put a drop of blood up top right here you spread your spread you put your spreader slide on making sure that it's flushed on the other side of the slide like right here it's going to be touching all the way going up then your drop spreads and then drag it down okay let's repeat it in the lab this time and hopefully you're watching it carefully <laughs> this is one of the easiest way of making peripheral blood smears because you're holding both slides and if you're shaky like at least the other one's shaky too so when they're touching together it actually make it stable i don't know if that makes sense but it helps me a lot with my shaky hands that i'm holding both slides together so make sure that it's touching all the way up and all of the side of the slide of your spreader slide is flush to the slide that you're spreading the blood to and again speed matters go slower than faster the slower you go the better the spread of blood goes <laughs> okay so third method of doing this this is an interesting method that i learned from one of my coworkers. she studied in the philippines in cebu and she has this method where there's it's just there's no way even if you have shaky hands that you're gonna have swervy smears it's not gonna happen because you're locked into your slides so the way she grips the slide is so this time the slide where you put the drop on is gonna be horizontal to you so horizontal like that hold it this way so thumb and two fingers right here now this is the tricky part so your spreader slide actually goes right that see how shaky my hands are 
and then you make your angle. So two fingers up top and one finger down here, your thumb down here. So like that. And then you're making sure that it's holding both slides, both the slide where your blood is. This is also, this is also a two-handed method like the one earlier. I think just for shaky handed people, two-handed method in making your blood smears are more stable than the classic spreading technique. So for this one, you use all your fingers for support. So you're holding on to the blood, um, what do you call this? Blood slide where your blood is. So you go all the way back and then you go all the way forward. So it's too big, I can't do it with this. I can do it with a glass slide. So I'm gonna show you how I do it in the lab. Okay, so 45 degree, you go back and then you hold everything together and you go down. So it's like, um, it's like a train, like there's a track. You're holding it the whole time. So you put your drop here, go all the way back, wait for the blood to spread and then slide down. Back and then slide down. Easy, right? I wish I knew this when I was a student, but this is, this is amazing. This method is amazing. People in Cebu are amazing. Spread the blood, wait for the blood to spread right here. So it spreads right there. When it spreads from end to end of the slide, you, sl you glide down slowly. Or with, in a good smooth motion. And that's it. Thank you for watching my video. I hope it's able to help you in your journey of learning more about hematology and clinical science. If you enjoyed it, please do like and subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you so much for your time and see you on the next one. Bye.